This is a mixture of water and cornstarch. The ease with which it can be stirred and with which it drips from the stirrer indicates that it behaves very much like a liquid. In a moment, we're going to show you what happens when you take this mixture and shake it. One of the surprises will be that when you poke a hole in it, that hole will remain there. Now, we're going to ramp up the acceleration with which this container is shaken. With some acceleration, Faraday waves set in. They fade in and out of view because the camera is out of sync with the shaking. Now we're going to shake the mixture with a fixed frequency and acceleration and apply a small puff of air. The puff of air creates an indentation and that indentation grows to a hole and it just sits there. The hole doesn't disappear. Here's a close-up showing that the hole actually penetrates the entire layer. This is the same process except viewed from above. And What's important to point out is that this is real-time. That hole is just sitting there and even though this is a liquid light su substance, it is not closing. Here are three holes surrounded by Faraday waves. The two central holes are interacting with each other. They come close and then they repel. The light is such that those bright horizontal lines indicate where the rim of the hole is. Now we're going to shake it at 25 G's. Now the original indentation from the puff of air doesn't create a hole, instead it creates this writhing mass. From the original indentation, these finger-like protrusions grow. Those fall, they create new indentations which then give rise to new finger-like protrusions and eventually this structure will cover the entire surface. 